Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week we are looking at Todoist boards and more specifically I want to give you a few ideas of how you can use Todoist boards. Now some of you will already be using them because you like the visual approach but boards can do so much more to help you get focused on the right things and to help you to reduce overwhelm. And that's really what I want to show you this week, how to get more focused and how to reduce the overwhelm that inevitably we all feel from time to time. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to learn all the latest tips, tricks and tools for using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my demo account now and let's go through a few ideas of what you can use Todoist boards for to get the most out of your day. Okay, I'm going to start us off in my today view. Now, if you watched my video from last week, you will see how I have things set up. Now, my today view is set and prioritized or custom sorted by priority. I because these this is the most important thing, then the next important thing, and then the next important thing. However way you do it, I personally these are my objectives and these are my afternoon tasks. Now I'm actually recording this in the afternoon. I've been a very good boy today. I have done all my morning tasks. But let's just remove this for one moment. What are you going to go if you want to turn your today view into a board, you're not going to be able to do it. Now that's because all your filters are not going to be able to put them into boards. You will not be able to put any filters into boards. So if we just look, upcoming is a unique filter, for example, that to do is created. It's basically a default. You can't remove it. You can't hide it. It's just your upcoming view, which is great. I mean, it's there if you need to use it. I know a lot of people do like to use this to kind of plan their week, and that's fine. Filters and labels is just a, a place for you to go and create your filters. But if you notice in here, this indication here, by the way, is the filter. So if we go into here, you can see that these filters have this drop, this like kind of like teardrop, and then labels have a tag like thing. So if we go into my today's objectives, if I go into the view up here, I cannot change this into a board. And that's just simply because it's a filter and I cannot change filters into boards. And essentially, that's perfectly okay for me because it's, this is where I'm working from. This particular one, today's focus, is where I am working from on a daily basis. And if you want the filter query for this, then watch last week's video because I give you all my filters in last week's video. Same with objectives. This actually one question I always get, I should point out one question I always get is why do I have this when I also have my objectives in the focus? That's simply because when I write my journal in the morning, I generally copy out. In fact, I do copy out what my two objectives are into my journal. That's simply because if I check this off like that now, it disappears. I don't really have an easy way of checking it through Todoist to see over a period of time how have I done with my objectives. In my journal, it's a permanent record. So that's the thing I wanted to just first explain. You cannot go into boards from your filters. That's just not going to be possible. Okay, but let's go into the projects. Now, oh, by the way, you can do it in your inbox. You can go into view here and now you'll see that you have the option down here to list as board. Now, some people like that. Personally, I don't. Um, I much prefer to see this as a list because it's just a processing, a place that I would process uh, at some point in the day. But to inbox is a kind of project anyway. So, okay, let's go into this week and let's have a look at how you can set this up as a board. Now, I have two sections in here. I have my recurring areas of focus and I have uh, an unspecified section, if you like. This is basically the unique tasks that need to happen each week. Now, I have this sorted at the moment by due date, and that's perfectly fine. I like to see what's coming up when I'm looking at my this week folder. I like to see, project if you like, what's coming up. So tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, if I go into my view section here, and I want you to watch something very carefully. 
right? This is sorted by due date. If I go into my view as board, you'll see that it stays the same. I have my no section, which is my unique task for the week, and my recurring areas of focus as the columns. Now, let me change this. I've got sort by due date and group by default. Let me change that to due date. Now, look what happens. My recurring areas of focus section has now disappeared. Now, I've seen a lot of people have had many problems with this. They think, oh, I've created all these uh, sections, but they've just disappeared. I recommend that you go and check your custom sorting. If you've got custom sorting, sort by due date, um, or group by, sorry, I should say group by due date, then you will lose your sections. If I remove that and go back to default, my recurring areas of focus comes back. That's just something that you may want to just keep in mind. I've had many emails recently about saying, oh, where's my recurring areas of focus? Check your sort. It's probably because you're grouping by due date. Now, going back to that though, I like this as an option. Now, due date, just go there. Now, this is a great way when you come to planning and you can switch these views, it's not permanent. So if I come, I'm gonna remove the sidebar now. Now, when it comes to planning, once I've finished my planning, this is how I actually like to look at it because it tells me that I've got a good balance to the day. Now, usually I should say Wednesday's my day off. So I'm looking at this here and I'm thinking, well, that's easy. That's just something I just have to do through my banking app and then take my dog in for a haircut. Well, that's something I would do on my day off. And now let's have a look. If I'm looking across this, I'm thinking, right, this is probably a personal thing. Let's just do that. I'm going to do the, oops, I'm going to do this on Wednesday. I think that's just going to make a better day. Now, I've noticed that I cannot, oops, uh, once you've got it set up, I can't move, which is a weird thing, between the tasks. I have to go into the task. I have to change the date manually. Uh, so let's do that for what's going to be on Wednesday. And that's how it would switch over to Wednesday. Now, the reason for that is just because you're sorting by uh, your due date, your grouping, I should say, by due date. Now, if I change this again, I'm going to change the group to, let's go back to default. Now, I can move these things around because now it's, it's I'm, I've actually got a genuine section. Just keep that in mind. You can't move things around when you, this is the group by, it's just simply how you're grouping. You haven't actually got, um, you haven't actually got sections, if you like, like this, you need the section to be able to move. I hope that makes sense. So this is just a view that Todoist is showing you. If you want to be able to move things around, then you're going to need to actually set up your custom sorting. Just change that around because you actually need to have the genuine section. Oh, I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Maybe it doesn't to you. But anyway, as I say, this is a really good view to make sure that you've got the balance in the week so that you're not dumping too many tasks on any specific day. For example, you might want to have your calendar open when you look at this, when you're doing the weekly planning, and you can just sort of say to yourself, hey, I've got too many tasks on Wednesday. I've got an appointment at the dentist or I'm having a medical checkup. I'm not going to be get all these things done. Well, then you can just move them around. Just tap on that and you can change that around to say, I'm going to do that one on Monday and you can just tap the date and I'm going to do that on Friday. So you can move them around that way and it is actually probably faster than dragging and dropping anyway. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. That's something that you can do inside your this week project. It's a really good way of managing and just checking that you're not overloading yourself. Now, going down to the routines, again, I could do this in my routines, but there's really no point. I do it anyway because it's kind of nice to see, but it doesn't matter whether I've got too many tasks in my daily uh, routines or weekly routines. I mean, these are just routines that just need to be done. As you notice that it's a good way, though, to check that everything is set up for recurring. Now, the one thing that people ask me about was what about goals? How do I organize my goals? Now, I couldn't really show that last week because my goals are very personal and I don't want to be sharing personal information with the world, if you like. But I've set it up in here as a board and it is, it is set up as a board in my real Todoist. Now, the way I set up my goals are through my, recur my areas of focus, my eight areas of focus. We all have these. We all have the same 
eight areas of focus. The priority within them is different and what we want to do within them is different. So health and fitness, my goal, I remember this is a goal, it's not a project, it's a goal. My goal is to complete the 2022 Chun Chun Marathon if it happens. It, we still have some COVID restrictions here. So what I need to do on the 1st of July is I need to send in my entry form. Now, I can't do anything about that until the 1st of July. So I've set that as a date and it's going to show up in my today view. Now, at the moment, it's not flagged. I would see it when I do my weekly planning. I say, I'm going to do that on the 1st of July because it's actually next week or maybe the week after. I'm going to do that in the morning. Now, I've made that decision. So that's now going to show up in my today list. It's also going to show up in my, my uh, today's focus list. So that's fantastic. This one again may or may not happen. So at the moment, I don't know if it is going to happen. There's no advertising for it. It may not happen this year. So this is on hold, if you like. I've just got to keep an eye on it. And every time and I do my weekly planning, maybe not every week, but every couple of weeks, I do check the website to see if there's any UPW in Sydney this year. This is just to grow my company by 20%. This is business and career. I have a company. You may be working for a, for a company, in which case you may have some career aspirations. What's the goal for your career aspirations? So as I go along here, I've got not everything, like my lifestyle and life experiences. I'm happy with that at the moment. Uh, spirituality, I do like to have a weekend temple stay every year. And this year I'm thinking maybe September in my Q3 break. Life's purpose is the same pretty much every year. I want to become a better and better teacher so I can help more and more people. I could write that in there. I don't need to because it's like fixed in my head. And then family and relationships. I would love to do something for my mother because she loves traveling. So I'm going to arrange for her to come back to Korea. She's just been back, come back to Korea. And we're just going to have a whole week traveling around Korea. She loves that kind of thing. That is a goal that I would like to do later this year. So this is another way that I would use my, my boards. I just love the way that I can do it. Now, what I want to show you is the possibility of something like this. Now, I have a task in here which is a recurring task that comes up on the 15th of every month. Now, I'm not really sending $1,700 to my savings account, but it just seems to be a, I don't know why I picked that number, but I did. Now, this comes up every 15th of every month and it will show up in my today view. I don't need to worry about it being in my recurring areas of focus. It could be, I could move it there if I want to, but it is part of a goal this year and it's set to come up on the 15th of every month. So that's absolutely fantastic. Now, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it would be to just basically use this, um, take this task, and you can put that underneath. So I'm going to save that, uh, copied it, so to say, and then I'm just going to add the task underneath it and send to, uh, to my savings account, add the due date, which would be uh, every 15, and hit return, and I could add the task. So that would tell me that there is a task associated with that. You have a choice as to how you want to do this. I actually think this is a good way as well because when you do the weekly planning you can look at that and think oh yeah I need to do that it's up to you 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 decide how you want to do it but that's how I use boards with my goals they there's usually one goal maybe not all of them because some of them are just absolutely fine lifestyle we've just moved house I'm very happy with my lifestyle right now finances I always have a financial goal each year to save x amount of money Business, I want to grow my business by a certain percent every month. Personal development for me just basically means that I want to do something big on the personal development front. And I always have a health and fitness goal. You you can pick and choose what you want there. And then long term and on hold, I just don't have anything in there because this is my demo account. But, you know, those are the things that you can do. So there's a few ways of using boards. Now, just to go back to the, this week, you've got so many options with this and basically... Going up here, you've got viewers board or viewers list. You can just pick and choose that. And then grouping by is entirely up to you. So I could group by date added, which I'm not sure the value of that particular one. You can group by priority, which is my preferred way of doing it in my today view, but not this project view. And I can also group by label, but I don't have any labels, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but you've got options there which you can actually choose by. I actually prefer to go by default and just see it like that. I actually prefer the list view in this week, but you know, we're all different. We all want to see things in a different way. I'm going to custom sort that 
by, well, I actually custom sort that by as it is. It's by date. But you can change this around by do it however way you want to do. So hopefully that's given you a really good overview of how you can use boards. They are tremendous. But do keep in mind that your, your filters are not boardable you can't turn them into boards and i do believe it's the same with labels you wouldn't be able to turn those into boards because you're looking at the same label anyway in whichever view but your projects and today and even inbox can be set up as boards and you can have a play around with this area here and change it around and see what you want to see how you want to look at it so there you go thank you so much for watching this video and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work and that's what the time sector system is all about it's going to change your whole belief system about way the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when when you are going to do the task and let's be honest it doesn't matter how motivated inspired or how urgent something is if you don't have time to do it it is never going to get done and that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.